John Davis, absolutely one of the best. John Davis, true crime. John Davis, true crime. John Davis doing what true crimers do. John Davis, true crime. Hey, John Davis. John Davis, true crime. Mr. John Davis. John Davis, true crime. John Davis, true crime. This guy, John Davis. John Davis, true crime. John Davis, true crime. Maybe that's where I've heard that name before. John Davis, true crime. John Davis, and it's good to see you, John. How are you? John Davis, true crime. <laughs> John Davis, true crime. Hey, John Davis. John Davis. John Davis, true crime. John Davis, true crime kicks butt. Tune in and watch John Davis, true crime. You will love it. It's one of the best channels on YouTube. Tune in. It's John Davis, true crime. I was going to shock y'all with some cool footage. Check out this. This happened last night. Just last night. This happened. The bridge, a bridge in Baltimore collapsed. The key bridge is the, uh, is the name of it. This happened at 1.30, I want to say Eastern airtime. It's wild. Have y'all seen it yet? Here, let me let me just go ahead and open the show with it, and we'll uh, talk about it. AM local time. That's around two hours ago. Now, local radio, we've been listening in there, and a number of talkback callers have called up saying that they heard a large bang and a large boom. Now, a number of authorities are rushing to that area. Have y'all seen that? Heard about it? Good morning, Angie Davis, Sparker, Teresa Mills, Not a Drama Nana, Tropicana, Messy Jesse. I'm that B Mama Bear. Everybody. The usual suspects at nine o'clock in the morning. Everybody's either at work or still asleep. Randy says it annoys her how I lean into the mic, and now it's like out of spite. It's made me do it more. Eight a.m. for me. I just woke up. Good morning. Waking up with JDTC in your cup. The bridge collapse was wild though last night. They're saying, and I just watched a um, update. From 20, like it was at 820 was the time of the update. And uh, they're saying there could be upwards of seven people they're looking for. What happened was, and I have, I have photos. I prepared for the show and the stuff I prepared, we'll, we'll get to, you know, in a little bit. But I also was up early this morning for y'all thinking i want to give them some hot tea fresh tea this morning i got some pictures there it is if you look to the left if you see the big um dark area to the left that's actually a barge and it hit one of the supports that that big black blob there on a little left of center is the barge. And uh, let's see here. This is the aftermath. As you can see, all that's the girders and stuff in the water. There's the barge right at where the bridge um separated this is actually when it happened this is a still shot of that it happened during the night there must have been a camera on the bridge for some reason because they had footage of it and it shows exactly when it went down that's kind of what i showed in that video i'll play it again real quick since 
p.m. local time. That's around two hours ago. Now, local radio, we've been listening in there and a number of talkback callers have called up saying that they heard a large bang and a large boom. Now, a number of authorities are rushing to that area. So the bang and the boom was that um, ship hitting it. That's what the bang and the boom was. Check this picture out. This is weird. That's on one end of it there. You can see the, the road just ends right there. The rest of it's gone. You know, it, it's a miracle that that was during the night, which, you know, let's pray everybody is found. And, you know, we don't know how many people are not going to make it through this. But imagine that bridge being full on rush hour or something because they're saying upwards of seven people. I, I don't understand how they know that number for sure. I'm assuming maybe they have camera footage and they know who made it across and who didn't. You know, possibly. I don't know. But they're saying they know they're looking for upwards of seven people. It's wild stuff, ain't it? The mayor was out and um, he he was he was saying because, you know, they were starting to ask questions. Well, how long will it take the bridge to get built back up? And the mayor was like, we're not worried about that right now. What we're worried about is finding and trying to save everybody that, that was in, involved in the collapse. I thought that was that was awesome for him to, to go there. A real young guy, too. To be mayor. Now, that's just my opinion. I don't know how old the guy is. He looked really young for a mayor. I thought that was a, a, a good um, point to make, you know. Had any of y'all seen that before? Or anybody know, know that area, been there? The key bridge in Baltimore. Oh, oops. Open up some wildness on my computer here. New fear unlocked. Imagine what shitty luck you had to have to be on that bridge when that happened. It was a three minute warning that the barge was having technical issues. It's going to send my fear of bridges into the stratosphere. I live in one world it happens to be in West Virginia. It's the New River Gorge. People jump off of it and uh, parachute and stuff. It's an uneasy feeling to be up that high. I'm not much about being over large spans of water in my car on a bridge. That's I don't like that at all. That you know, one of the worst tragedies ever on a bridge was in uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. That's where the Mothman originated from. They said that the uh, Mothman was in the area right before the bridge in uh, West Virginia fell. I wouldn't be surprised to see some people try to Photoshop some shit. There is Mothman. It's him again. He struck again. You hear a bridge fail? Yes, in Baltimore. Or well, it's it's in yeah, it's it's the Baltimore Key Bridge is the one. It was hit by a barge. Good thing this happened in the middle of the night instead of during rush hour traffic. This is bad. Could have been way worse. Yeah, you absolutely right. It could have been. It's bad though, but. That's what I was saying. Like I, when when it happened in uh, Point Pleasant, it was really packed on the bridge. That's what caused that. I think was too much weight on the bridge, and you know it was old. But in this case, got hit by a barge. I never travel because I refuse to go across a bridge and don't fly. True story. Wow. I'm sure that this this story ain't gonna help your uh, urge to travel any, is it? Especially over a bridge. Always had fear of bridges. I hold my breath all the way over the New River Gorge. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I don't, heights don't bother me that bad. I just don't like, I don't like anything where I don't feel like I'm in control. If I'm driving across the bridge, I guess I'm better. I don't know. Have you ever driven over Lake P? Nope. I have not. I have not driven over Lake Pontchartrain. Pontchartrain. No, I haven't driven over Lake Pontchartrain. Punctual train. I have to close my eyes to go over Lord's Bridge, especially open ones. I hope you ain't driving. That bridge thing's horrible, though, man. I was shocked to see that. This morning, right off the bat, I was looking at the headlines. I seen... Now, what we're going to talk about next is... um what i seen yesterday but it's pretty this part of it and we'll start here this is this is the headline i got first illinois illinois board member resigns after pro league kills boy injures pregnant ex-girlfriend in attack governor says and i was like well the illinois board member resigns after Proley kills boy. <clears throat> I went back and looked at the story and the story's a few weeks old. So some of you may have already seen this, but it, it was, um, what happened was this guy right here, man, I'm going to butcher his name too. I know it. I, the way it's spelled, I'm going to say it's Cressetti brand. That's this, this guy here. He got paroled. And what he did was within, I want to say it was within 24 hours, he had assault, started assaulting his pregnant or a pregnant woman. And the little boy had tried to break it up or help protect his mom. And he, he, he killed the little boy. He was a little boy. It's, his name's Jaden Perkins. He was 11 years old. This guy took him 24 hours after being paroled. Within 24 is what it said. And, and the little boy passed trying to save his mom who was pregnant. And, you know, after this turn of events the uh one of the people on the parole board that decided to let him out early resigned from the i guess the guilt over you know have had helped in making the decision of releasing that monster i'm not going to give him a bunch of attention though I just think that is such a, a horrible story. And you think that um, that guy, already known to be a monster, I'm sure his rap sheet was terrible. I didn't see a ton about it. I know he had a, a history of uh, domestic abuse and stuff like that. Could Not even out a day and did that. Now, you tell me that, that if there was ever an excuse to pay the ultimate price, it would be for what that man right there did. You know? The, the justice system sucks, I swear. It, it seems like to me there's way too much time for some shit and they don't take other shit serious enough. That man, he should have never seeing the light of day and you can i mean did couldn't even make it 24 hours without attacking his pregnant uh, a pregnant woman and killing her son you think he ever needs to be amongst civilization again i don't know i don't personally 
I, and I don't see no reason to keep him around for 40, 50 years either. Good morning, Squirrely Girl, Tropicana, Popcorn, and M&M's. I, I, I love the original names. I like Popcorn and M&M's myself. Uh, yeah, such a brave young man. You got that right. Trying to protect his mommy. Just deleted my comment about this. It wasn't nice. <sighs> Hey, it's 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 one of those things, man. You hear about it and you're just like, why does this happen? Twenty four hours couldn't make it. Twenty four hours out. Now, uh, I don't know. You know. That, that whole parole board should be questioning if they're doing the right job. Everybody on that board, you know, I've been like everybody else, though, trying to keep up with all the um, Sebastian Rogers stuff. And there's a lot of stuff out. The parents... The other night, we're actually on Nancy Grace. Have y'all seen that? And I only, I'm going to have to admit, I only watched like half of it so far. Nancy Grace, man, she is a bulldog. She will ask the same question 10 different ways and not care about it. She, she was really killing it. With the part I see. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to refresh my coffee. It was wild, though. I think Nancy to question me. But since I was on last and talked about Sebastian stuff, I've seen a lot, a lot more of that. I tell you, I am. Seems like a lot of people are sold on. It had to be the mom and dad. I don't know. I can't say I'm sold on it. I can say there's there's stuff that seems a little odd. I want to show y'all something wild. This this could be. Great craziness. I'm not saying it ain't. Good morning, Holly. Go lightly. Good morning, John Davis. Can't stay. Came by to support and give a like. Well, we appreciate the stop by. Poppy Red Mustang, Plant Diva, Tropicana. Not a drama. Where was I going with this? Hold on. Um, Sebastian. You know, there's been a lot out, like I was saying. Hold on. Let me see. If, let me. See if I can find this first. Yeah. Here, just give you a, a basic. Here, here's what I noticed the other day, though. And this is just a clip I want to show a you. a constant roller coaster ride of helpless and hopeless and many other emotions all in one. And it's a never ending roller coaster. It doesn't stop. That is the, the stepdad right there. A lot of people really suspicious on this guy. Well, I seen that, and then I seen this was on Facebook. And what it was is that same interview of that um, that I just played for y'all. In that same interview, they pointed out that if you look at his arms, it looks like there's scratches on his forearms. Now, I don't know if, if that's been photoshopped. I couldn't swear to it. But it does look like scratch marks. But, you know, hey. I thought it was interesting that somebody actually noticed that sp spotted that. Now, to hear him tell it, him and the mom has been cleared. Nothing to see here. I don't know. Those are not dog scratches, in my opinion. Well... 
we don't know anyone here. We are not professionals in crime. We have to wait, let the law do their thing. I, I didn't say they did anything. I'm just, I just report what I see. I don't know. Could they have been scratches? Possibly. I tell you though, the more this thing keeps turning, the longer he's missing, I, I almost feel like we can rule out for sure left on his own accord at this point. I, I just, I really think they would have found him by now. They were cleared. Then they were cooperating. Now they're back to being cleared. LOL. I, I noticed he said on Nancy Grace that he's asked the police, please let me, let me give you a lie detector test. And they're like, nah, nah, you're clear. We got your alibi. We know you went there. Don't worry about it. It's the way he said it. You know? Oh, and you know what I think is definitely good news. I think a lot of people don't seem to feel like this for Sebastian's case too, is this come up the other day. The nonprofit organization that helped in the search with Riley Strain is now helping for this search as well. We're talking about the United Cajun Navy and uh, they help with relief efforts for natural disasters and missing persons cases like this. Now, I would I, I would have to think that's a good thing, right? Well, I, I tell you what, I, I haven't caught all the, the back to it, but a lot of, uh, I know Bullhorn Betty seems to be real upset with the Cajun Navy. I, I have to think, though, with the resources they bring, that's great news for Sebastian's efforts. Any Anytime you're adding any kind of organization with with resources to searching for somebody, people that do this, you know, on the regular, even though, man, it's so sketchy. It's, it's not sketchy. I don't want to say that, but it's so wild. This organization, this Cajun Navy, all the stuff they do, they do like disaster relief where they go in after tornadoes, flooding, whatever, and help. They do missing kids. They do all all kinds of, of different things, it seems like, in one organization. How you doing, Emma? I said, if I do 9 o'clock, I bet Emma can make some of them. That's why I did 9 o'clock for you, Emma. Good to see you. Seth promoted the Cajun Navy, is happy they're helping him search for his son. Yeah, Seth seems to be, and you know, I've seen a couple of instances where he talked about he was pumped for it because he has, he he can't, I think he has to go back to work. So they're going to continue the search and take it over for him. And I know he was real big on, you know, staying out of their way, letting them do their thing. I, that That's who I think you, you should respect wishes above anybody. I would go with whatever Seth says. That's, that's. Sebastian's dad, I would respect his wishes. That's all I'm going to say about that. Seth was basically doing this on his own for so long. I'm thankful people are helping him. Trev, you'd be surprised to know, actually, one of JDTC's own was helping search with Seth. Messy Jesse. Y'all didn't see it. I put out a, a couple of little shorts the other day with... Jesse's footage where she was um, helping search for Seth. Big shout out for Jesse. I'm worried about Seth. I, I tell you, the dude is wrecked, man. I seen him on. Um, this last interview I seen, I think it was one his most recent or one of the very last ones he had done. And he broke down in it. You know, he was like, I didn't notice until I looked at the calendar the other day that has been this long. And um, he said to me, it's just like one continuous day. And it, he started breaking up and I was like, Feel for that man so bad. I cannot um, even begin to imagine as a dad what it would be like 
to have no clue where your son is. He's just gone. It would it'd have to be up about the worst nightmare you could think of outside of, you know, finding out your child had passed. But I, I don't even know. I, I struggle with which one would be worse. You know, I think if, if your child passed, at some point you'd be able to start grieving and, and maybe working on, you know, getting back to life. With them missing, it just seems like you'd be constantly stuck at where are they at, constantly. And I, I, can, I don't wish that on nobody. I don't. I really don't. I can't imagine what that would be like. That started going around, but it's my understanding he's not going back to work yet. I'm glad he's got some, some legit help. I know that. I feel for the man because I, you can tell, man, it's, it was legit. What I watched, hey, it wasn't no act. This dude, you know, he was, it, it was really starting to get to him. You know, and my, my issue with, I don't, like I said, I'm not going to say that I know the parents did anything, but I tell you what, they, they brought some bad publicity on themselves, I think, personally. You know, like the, 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 the stepdad with his, like the fact that he called Seth, I thought that was so off, so wrong, you know, I still haven't heard. Does anybody know how long the stepdad and, uh, Sebastian's mom have been married or been together? I, I'd be interested in knowing that. Somebody said he did. I'm not I I'm not a hundred percent on that. I would just I'd be really interested to know how long they've been married. I haven't seen that yet. I don't know what happened, but the parents have not helped themselves look good, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree too. They they haven't done any favors. Um he said Sebastian was eight when he met when he met him. Wow, seven years? S they've been together seven or eight years, Brandy. Wow. I wouldn't have guessed that. So, oh, I'll tell you one thing. I, me and Brandy went the, the, wow, was Brandy watching? I went, yeah, I thought so, yeah. The part of Nancy Grace that cracked me up was, was the the interview with um, Sebastian's dad? Nancy Grace was talking to him, and Nancy Grace is saying something, and she refers to her as his wife, and he's like ex wife, ex wife. Nancy's like, oh yeah, sorry, ex wife. He's like, Let's keep that shit straight. I'm hey, we all make mistakes. It was a long time ago. I just thought it was funny how he did, how he went about that. Ex-wife. No, Ex-wife, Nancy. Keep it straight. Out somehow. Well, you better catch him. We got a, a Zeke break. It's like a jail break, except it's Zeke. He runs around like, like he's escaping prison, looking for spots he ain't seen before. Uh Man, I'm I'm still kind of put back by the fact they've been together seven or eight years. I didn't know that. Here, Shocked by that. Did you get him? No. <laughs> and you know, I really never expect this to be going on. Still, we're over a month now. Well. Was the, yeah, over 30 days now. Still kind of interested in the fact that the, the dad brought up the construction site. What do y'all make of that? Oh, I did learn on Nancy too, something I didn't know. There was three, like the dude had a truck. She had a car and she had a, um, a work van. And 
she had said that law enforcement had searched they she they asked her nancy asked her she was like has law enforcement searched your car and she's like many times many times searched your car they're looking for something you know they are looking for something Pick some notes. What else I put? Uh, and it, it was weird too. She she was asking um, the stepdad, Nancy Grace was. She was asking the stepdad about um, dates when he was last home and this kind of stuff. And she and he was like, law enforcement has told me not to give specific dates. That's weird. The law enforcement would tell him not to tell when he was out of town and when he was in town. Would they do that? Mm -mm. She probably don't want her to talk to say the wrong stuff. Here we go. This is, I was on this the other day too. She's a security camera installer, but all of her own cameras just happened to be off at that night. What? I didn't know that. I didn't think she even had any from what she was saying. Well, isn't that suspicious? Uh, that, that's crazy. Yeah, that's her profession. That's crazy. You would think if, if that was your profession, home security, yours would be on point, and especially with having an autistic child. Then you look at the history and see if that's what she does usually turn them off some. If not, that's an issue. See, see, yeah, that's like a lot of what Nancy was going after the other day was – um stuff like that like she was trying to talk about um the shoe thing how big of a deal that is that he didn't have shoes mm -hmm. and i agree i think the fact that they're saying he did not have shoes when he left the house tells me he didn't leave voluntarily or he didn't plan on being gone long the part i don't get is why would if they're covering up why would they bring that up I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know. You know, who knows? I don't know either. I go back and forth. This, but, you know, there was the, the talk of that phone call. And I actually did hear them admit on Nancy Grace they were on the phone for a long time that night. Mm -hmm. And see, on Nancy Grace, though, she adds this part in. Well, I don't know if she did that on the Chronicle of Olivia video, but she adds a part in at 10 o'clock. She heard a noise in Seth's room. Oh, I hadn't heard that. And she says, well, you know, what was that noise? And he's like, nothing. She's like, well, go to bed at 10 o'clock. So she moved the timeline to where she's saying everything. He was there and all that to 10 instead of the nine originally, right? Yeah, the thing about the shoes, she might have said that because dad had bought them for him. Real dad had bought them shoes because he outgrown them. So I heard an interview with him. He was saying that maybe he would have known they were still there. Maybe they could hide them. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I think the no shoes is a big clue, though. They're responsible for him, anyways. So he went missing them to watch her watch. I think Chris called the sheriff's department rather than nine one one because it would not be recorded. Oh, that's crazy. Hmm. There's a lot of that's weird not to call 911. Ain't it? Yeah. You would think that would be a definite 911, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you catch where Chris was at 12? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That might have been after i've only been halfway through it i wonder if they got a written statement from her when it happened i'm sure uh, i'm sure they, they have See? and she was reading a chapter and talking on the phone at the same time said she was studying for a class at devry but she has dropped out of devry since what really mm -hmm. no sense well, since Sebastian went missing, she dropped out. I didn't see that. All I need to do is look and see what her record of talking to him like that before is. You know, see if they ever had a long conversation like that before. 
or if it's been five or ten minutes like a regular person that's the issue if that is so i'm sure they've looked at that my opinion law enforcement thinks something shady that's why they're looking in the landfill and everywhere else for you. yeah i mean the fact that they checked that landfill to me tells me something i don't know what but something they had a suspicion of something you'll never convince me that there wasn't a reason behind that that it was just they act like it was mm -hmm. protocol oh we always search them now nah, something led to that yep. three-way call you can't call 911 Mm -hmm. I don't get that either, man. This dude. I just found you by accident. Maybe it's meant to be. Maybe. The whole thing's shady to me. I think they done something to him. I don't know why, but. I used to be a 911 dispatcher. We had central dispatch, and we dispatched for multiple agencies. Hmm. Cool. Good morning, Ginger Snap. That'd be a stressful job. Trash collector told law enforcement the trash was heavier and oddly shaped compared to normal. Oh, what? That might be why they're looking at the landfill. Well, that would be why. Hmm. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. No way could I read a book and have a convo on the phone at the same time. No either. way. No way, not Marie. I can't read and do shit at the same time. I can't do. I, I'm not a bad multitasker, task, pretty much. Except cooking and stuff. I can do that. Do something else. They rerouted 911 calls as they live outside the area. I wonder how abusive they were to Sebastian before he was diagnosed a year ago. Oh, so he's only been diagnosed for a year? I didn't know that either. So I wonder if it was very slightly like they didn't know they noticed he had an issue. But see, that's what I'm trying to get my head around. But the, I tell you, the way it seems to me that the dad describes it is like it's very, it's not super bad. He was talking about though he was in classes. Yeah, I heard that. He did got the same work, but had more time and had more time questions. and less questions. Yeah. I, I don't have, I just, I don't get the feeling he walked off. No, so. neither. I think he might have been a high functioning or, I don't know. wonder if he made it home at all after the outing Sunday. See, that's the weird thing, though, is it, it seems like it's definitely whatever happened was Sunday mm -hmm. night because she has a long list of shit they did that day and people they saw. Mm hmm I didn't know he'd only been diagnosed for a year. My son was five when he got diagnosed. I didn't know that either. So did Chris have the sheriff's department number memorized or did he take the time to Google it? I know. I was just Why wondering. would you pick the sheriff's department? Okay. It's an emergency. Should I call 911? I know the number. Go look up the number. That's stupid, isn't it? Our brains are trained to dial 911 in an emergency, mm -hmm. so I find it highly suspicious. I do, too. Yeah. That is true. Then Seems weird to call. the dad, but he calls the dad, not the mom. That's weird, too. Why the sheriff's oh. department? Why not the city police? Yeah. Or was... I, I'm sure... Uh, I don't know. God, the oddest thing is no cameras were on, <laughs> and they had them. You, you know you have to go in there in the settings and turn them off, right? That's just weird. Or unplug them. Maybe she's playing it off there unplugged or something. But I, I want to say I heard her say she left and went searching for him, right? I, was, I thought she said three minutes. She looked around the house. Is that not true? I thought she left and went and searched for him after that. Maybe. Another question. Do they automatically open up a CPS investigation when your child goes missing? They should. Unless it's my own. What do you think? 
I don't know. I guess it depends on how it happened. What happened. Maybe. She couldn't call 911 because she was too upset to talk at the moment. Mm. She was talking to him. Mm-hmm. This is beginning to remind me of the Summerwells case in a number of different ways. Yeah. Parents are kind of suspicious. That thing about the trash bag, that's crazy. That's true. That makes sense, though, why they're looking in the landfills. There, well, there's some reason. Yeah. Gosh. They've told different scripts each time they've interviewed. Mm-hmm. I, a lot of people were saying, I don't think they'll go on Nancy Grace. They won't do it. And they did. They did it. I wonder what she did. She probably wouldn't say. I'm tripped up by stepdad saying that um, the cops told him not to talk about when yeah. he, he was in and when he was gone at that don't work. Make sense. Didn't want to give specific dates. Why? I can see, I can, I can, I've been stuck on that since last night. I can see no reason why the cops would make such a request because I can't see any reason that would be relevant. Yeah. It would give Unless he was the suspect. Yeah. Or he forget the time he gave, uh, gave the cops he didn't want to say. Well, maybe that's what it <laughs> yeah. is, you know? I don't, don't know what I said. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm not going to say. JLR said the construction trash goes to Kentucky, not the hood trash. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well. So now they're saying the video is completely irrelevant. That's what I was thinking it was. I don't like when I was thinking, like, I don't know. That don't look like it might be a little lightning bug or something. I don't know. I don't think it was anybody out there. And they said that, um, his flashlight was a keychain flashlight. Mm -hmm. So. It would have made more light than that. No, I'm just saying that that's one of the things that's missing. That's. that's. Oh. It was like a little bitty keychain flashlight. It really. Apparently that's gone with him. The mom and dad probably. No, nah, I shouldn't say that. Stuck it in the bag. They did something. Threw him away. Whipped it. You know. It's bad, but. John Davis True Crime, how long have you had your channel? A couple of years. Two years. Two plus. Two and a half. I didn't think they'd go on Nancy Grace either, but they most likely thought it would look bad if they didn't. Yeah, maybe. You can tell that dad is overbearing and kind of watching what she says. I think some people that make shit out, of, out of, of stuff that ain't. None. Like the dude was eating, and they're like, "Look at him eating while people are searching." Well, you got to eat. You got to eat. You know. Yeah, some stuff's not a big deal. I don't. I think. It, it, I almost think it's getting nitpicked too much. I didn't. You didn't see the picture. You wasn't here yet. Let me show you the picture. This was on uh, Facebook. Let me get your this, thoughts on this. If I had nothing to hide, I'd be trying to give as much information as I could to clear myself. You know, I wouldn't be hiding the timeline and stuff. You know. I would like give me a polygraph piss. Have they took one? The stepdad says he has been trying to take one. Cops don't want one. Huh. They're saying that those are scratch marks. Hold on, let me get the comment out. See. Hold on. Barbara Lane gifted one John Davis True Crime membership. Thank you, Barbara Lane. Thank you, Barbara. Mr. Lane. Lane. Yeah, I said it right. There's the uh can you see it now? No. I don't have my glasses on you. I'm blind. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I see. Right here. What see was that? that? And right here. Oh. This was in one of the first interviews he did. It might be a scratch or freckles mm -hmm. or something. Some spot. I don't know. It looks like a scratch. I'll say that. Yeah. But I, I don't know if it's relevant or not. People are saying it's a constant roller coaster ride of helpless and hopeless and many other emotions all in one, and it's a never ending roller coaster. It doesn't stop. See, I, now that's crazy. That, that's where you probably get scratched. Probably. Well, yeah. Finding out that he, um, 
has been around Sebastian seven or eight years. To me, I was thinking him and his mom hadn't been together that long. Now that I know that, it almost makes me think he's less of likely. Mm -hmm. I, I just can't. I'm struggling with motive yeah. is what I'm struggling with. If he's getting ready to leave to his dad's anyway. He's going to his dad's for the summer. I, I, I struggle with the motive. Unless it was anger in the moment. He got mad. You know, from the that's the only thing I can think of. I need some fresh coffee. Can you get out? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I moved the whole table. Oh. What do you guys think? You're suspicious, if anything. Crap. I'm shaking the whole camera. I can't, I need to pull the chat up. I can't see. I'm blonde. Tell you what, Brady, true crime has tainted you. Why? In the beginning, you would have never saw it. parents were guilty. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. Well, it would take me a while to make a conclusion, but yeah. You never come out this early in suspicion, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, probably not. <clears throat> that Riley Strain case, I, I said nobody did anything to him. He, he fell in that water. I think mean, that's what I kind of figured, you know, figured. Everybody's trying to say he got in a fight and they, people were chasing him. Just making a bunch of stuff up. It's just crazy. I, I tell you, when I when the Riley thing come out and I seen um, how big that river was and known his car was found on the bank, I pretty much thought it was obvious what happened. Mm-hmm. Then after I seen the stumbling footage and stuff, I was like, now, I, I still wouldn't be surprised to find out something didn't come back in his toxicology. Yeah. I think maybe he'd drinking and he got a concussion where he hit his head. You know? That fall was bad. Mm hmm I don't know. I wonder if the toxicology has come out yet. Because I, I would... I would think anybody want to know because if you see that video it looks like somebody that's been on something yeah yeah I'll, i question like how could he drown went down to the water like it's shallow there you know that's the only part i had issues with unless he passed out or something like this. that river is pretty big though yeah you know yeah they did what what's came out they said no foul play is the, what they're saying Toxicology yeah. results are pending. Yeah, they said that, though, in the original findings, that it didn't look like any, he, he didn't have any injuries. Maybe there was stuff happening in the house they didn't want him to discuss, or were they getting state money due to autism that they were getting used to? Don't know, spitballing here. Yeah. I don't know, you know? I don't know either. Like I, I was thinking in the, before I realized how long they'd been together, I was thinking, you know, new to each other mm -hmm. and were clashing heads, but it's it's wild that it was seven or eight years he knew Sebastian yeah. before this happened. I didn't think they were good at all. It's weird. Which we don't know one way or the other. But ninety eight percent of the time a child goes missing, parent or guardian. Mm-hmm. That's the stat that just will never let you not be suspicious right. of the parent or guardian, you know? Yep. I hadn't seen anything about little Elijah's case, have you? <sighs> I don't think I've seen anything. i seen nothing huge, I don't think, no. I believe they searched two landfills. See, that's what I'm saying. They wouldn't do that for no reason. He has a chromosome, so he had many issues from birth. The autism diagnosis came last year. Oh, okay. So he had maybe some other issues. But, you know, where he's in school doing the same work, hopefully, I don't know. If it's I, too bad or not. Now, I've seen this on Facebook. It's hard to tell. This is supposed to have been from his paternal grandmother, okay? 
And she wrote, I first and foremost want to thank everybody for their prayers and especially to those who have put boots on the ground looking for my grandson. I see a lot of people thinking that things have been manipulated and feeling sorry for the mother and stepdad. The biggest manipulator of information in this whole scenario is Chris Proudfoot. He accuses YouTubers of manipulating info. Well, he's the biggest spinner of all. He thinks there's three sides to every truth. No, there's not three sides to every truth. There's three sides to every story, but only one side to the truth. I am so frustrated and so angry. I spoke to my grandson at least two times a month and many times in between. He told me a lot of things that I'm sure Chris Proudfoot does not want me to put out there. I have not spoken to TBI at this point. However, I think this will change this week if info is not provided that brings my grandson home. Oh, wow. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth needs to be put out there. When you tell the truth, the whole truth, stories don't change, timeline don't change, facts come out. If you want to feel sorry or sad or bad for someone, think about Sebastian's father, Seth Rogers. Sebastian is in his whole life, his reason for being, and maybe you should look into Katie's background and her family and her history of making band manipulating people to do her bidding. I think you'll find some interesting facts will come out for now. Please, please just keep Sebastian's name and face out there. Please help me find my grandson. His dad is beside himself and needs some closure. Wow. So she's saying she might have some info. So is, is that dad's real or mom? It's be dad's mom. Yeah, I would say so. She don't like them at all, does she? <clears throat> this is what I know. Whether they're guilty or not, they have been caught lying, and the story changed red flags for me. Yeah, me too. The truth don't change. Lies. Can't remember. Say it. Now I cannot one hundred percent confirm that was grandma, but if that's grandma's post, then that's wild, ain't it? Mm -hmm. She clearly has a lot to say, say about the stepdad. Too bad. We need to look up their background. I, don't, I wonder what she's saying about the mom. <laughs> wow. Gran's got some hot tea. Gran sounds like she's dying to spill some stuff, don't she? Yeah. She's. I See, agree. I think dad has been playing it. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Politically correct. I, I think seems like Gran is over that shit getting to her yeah i think and i think she's got it apparently she has a very big feeling it's one of them it just don't make sense like he would have ran away without anything without talking on social media or anything to anybody just i don't know yeah don't you think i don't know why he's run away with nothing there's no reason. It don't make no sense to me. And it seems like, you know, it, to me, it, it tells me more than anything, him only being diagnosed last year, that he was probably high-functioning mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. I would think. Yeah. And but, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing he would do. It just it doesn't seem to me that's yeah. an option. And I cannot see somebody breaking into that house with there's dogs in the pen. You know they've been raising hell if somebody come in the house. Yeah. And Nancy Grace was like, Well, you a hard sleeper? And she's like, Well, on and off. I'm like, well, either a light sleeper or you're a heavy sleeper. It's not on and off. No. You know? Oh yeah. Nancy asked about the dogs. Yeah, Nancy was getting the low down. And I've only seen half so far, but Nancy was getting the low down on everything. Harley would wake us up if she was barking at night, you know. You're a light sleeper. I'm a light one sometimes. It just depends. Well, I don't know. You know, Harley's barking like that. She'd wake us up. And we would think something's up. And they have multiple dogs. <clears throat> Last night, we had bad wind. Did y'all have bad wind? I, I was scared to death it was going to. Thought our house was getting ready to be yeah, blown over. Awful. On the way taking the kids to school, there's a bunch of trees down. 
Um, Grandma's fired up. Do you think Chris limited the amount of time Sebastian was allowed to talk to Grandma? Maybe. He looks like he's kind of controlling. Grandma acts like she's got something. Uh, she's definitely not a fan of yeah. stepdad. I wonder well, if they were going to let him go stay with dad for the summer they had some kind of arrangements like the court visitation. I wonder. I had really bad winds here. Did you? It was bad here last night. It was scaring me. Every time I go to sleep, I hear something. We got a big locust tree beside our house. That's the only thing that worries me is it blowing that mm -hmm. thing over. One normal person has 30 snakes in a house that has children. That, oh, I didn't know that. See, I've been hearing that. Is that right? Is there that many snakes in that house? That's crazy. You've seen the picture of Sebastian with that big old yeah, snake Yeah, that on. one. I didn't know Ugh. that was. If they had a big enough one, I'm sure they blame this. Well, that's what I was getting ready to say. What if maybe that's what happened? One of them big snakes? It would have to be huge to swallow. To, not to squeeze you to death. Oh, yeah. But that, I'm sure they would, if that was the case, it, they would be saying that. So it didn't look bad That snake was his pet. Ugh. I don't like snakes. Not a fan. Supposedly, Chris told Dad he could take Sebastian anymore, and they were headed for divorce, so that's why he was going to Dad's. Chris? Oh, they were maybe getting a divorce. Couldn't take some <laughs> We just had a bad ice storm. Tons without power. No school yesterday. Oh, really? Wow, where's that at? Here's thought. Grandma's coming today. In the crowd, but like that. <clears throat> my voice went out. I couldn't read. I was reading that. Let's see. I think it's interesting if it, that grandma don't like him. They're scared grandma's coming for him, probably. I think grandma's getting ready to come out with it if something don't happen soon. I wish she would. I I, I would like to know the truth not just speculation somebody that actually knows mm -hmm. the guy because Supposedly, go ahead i was gonna read this okay chris told dad he couldn't take sebastian anymore and they were headed for divorce over you know that's sad if that's true that might be a motive there he got i think he got angry like he's one of the people that go from zero to ten in probably a minute or less probably that's how he comes off to me. You know, I heard, I can't remember where I heard this. Maybe some of y'all can see, tell me if you heard this, but I heard somebody saying that the stepdad was mad about um, Seth searching near the home. Hmm. I heard that, and now I can't for the life of me remember where I heard it. Did y'all hear that? Anybody else hear that? That for some reason he was saying it was bringing too much. I wonder if they had the dogs there to track. Yeah, they did. I'm sorry. They tracked him to the construction site. Yeah. Yeah, they said the dog's been through the cars, too. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. If you read the TBI report, it specifically says that he has an alibi with people who saw him in Memphis. Y'all got to stop at this. I'm not saying he's a good man at all, but read. Nobody here is saying he did anything. Mm -mm. But we're not saying that Sebastian walked away yeah. on his own either. Yeah. And it could have happened before that. You never know. I don't think he walked away on his own. No. I don't think somebody come in and took him. No. What, what happened to him? So uh, there's only so many options. And he's really sketchy about when he came in and when he didn't. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I haven't seen anybody on this channel or others accuse Chris of having done anything. Exactly. We're just talking. I'm accusing him of being a little bit of a control issue yeah. person. 
I, I, I and I, I think it's really weird for him to have called his dad too, mm -hmm. Sebastian's dad. I, I still have issue with that. I don't know whose decision that was, but that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. that, Sebastian's mom should have called that man and told him what was going on. It shouldn't have been stepdad who wasn't freaking there. Yeah. And if he did run, run off, they would have found him by now. How far is he going to get up, you know? Yeah. And, and I feel like if he would have walked off too, they would have been talking about doorbell footage. footage. Yep. I don't hear, I'm not hearing nothing about that. Yeah. And you know, all those houses probably have camera security. Most of them, they're big houses. Nice. I would say one out of three, probably, or even two out of three. What do you think? I would think a damn near everyone has one. Yeah, because they're newer houses, too. That's a nice neighborhood. Nowadays, they sell, like, security systems with new houses. So I don't know many. And she was in security. That's what gets me. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying that she didn't have security at home because she had planned on doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's so weird that she wouldn't. Yeah. Somebody that has that works in the field don't have something that accessible to them. You ain't got to pay for installation. Right. Cameras are cheap. Why wouldn't you have it? You know, and it, it almost makes me wonder why he wouldn't want it. He seems like he really likes control. Mm -hmm. You would think being gone on the road all the time, he would want cameras yeah. around so he can tell what's going on. Do you they know? have any other kids in that house? Oh, his, maybe. his daughter, by another relationship had a bedroom there but they said she wasn't there when this happened so there's what you you keep having these things that lines up she ain't there his shoes i, I just think I, I tell you what i'm i'm not saying the stepdad had anything to do with it but we're running out of options as to what could have happened yeah you're not going to make me believe that somebody broke into that house them dogs didn't recognize it and took him and and the, and it really paints you in a corner too when they talk about he wasn't into social media that to me takes one of the big possibilities mm -hmm. out of the equation yeah it does he wasn't talking to anybody that's crazy yeah because that's the first time first thing nowadays i think about you know did they meet somebody online yeah especially a teen you know somebody that would typically really be into social media there's just no reason he would have ran off my opinion he's such an unlikely victim too to yeah. a 15 year old boy mm -hmm. in his house in a nice neighborhood poof just yeah. gone Don't make sense. It don't. So is he saying he was at work that whole night, Chris, or the dad stepdad? He makes it out like he hadn't been home uh, uh, since early February. Hmm. Hadn't been there. Mm -hmm. Is what he was saying on Nancy Grace. He wouldn't give specific dates, but he made it out like he had not been there. Since early February. About three hour phone calls were weird too. That's strange. I, I, I don't know, man. It, it seems like to me. I, I, Hopefully it, they'll find them. I, I think if you look at statistics, it, it's. You know who probably is. You know who to look at. Mm -hmm. According to the company Chris works for, they do not work on Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Why wasn't he coming in all on the weekends? Yeah. I mean, it's three and a half hours. I get that's not no short drive, but why hadn't he been in for weeks then? Three hours, that's about time they were on the phone. <laughs> you feel like that? I don't know, it's weird. 
with Seth being law enforcement, don't you think he was interviewed and interrogated the most out of anyone? I'm sure he's been well looked into. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he was, pro well, you, you know, he's the non-custodial parent at right. the time. He's going to be the biggest suspect there is. He was at work. Mm -hmm. He had worked the night shift, said he got gets out and uh, checks his phone at 720, mm -hmm. gets the message from them, him, dude, that Seth was missing. Yeah, and he had his phone. I'm sure they could track him easily. Yeah. I, I don't see how he is in any way, shape, or form involved. Yeah, me either. And he was going to get him for the summer. Mm-hmm. Why would you take him in early and start a bunch of stuff? Yeah, a couple months, you know. So it makes sense. Nope. Did you? Did the stepdad have the phone or no? I know I heard no. Or did he? Yeah, he did. That's what I was thinking. I could track his phone, but people are smart nowadays. Well, I think damn near anybody would know not to bring your phone with you if you were going yeah. to do something. Yeah. You know. And see, if he if they went working on Saturday and Sunday, he had been off all weekend and mm -hmm. hadn't went home. I wonder what he was doing. I don't get why he come home. Yeah, me either. Three and a half hours and you got two days off. Yeah. You know? Don't make all sense. And hadn't for weeks, according to him. Right? Yeah. Like three weeks in that general vicinity. Maybe it's Sebastian there with his mom that whole time stressed her out, you know, there too. Three hours, 37 minutes, doorstep to doorstep. You you were so into somebody, you talked to him for three hours on the phone, but you ain't want to drive three hours to yeah, see him? that makes no sense. I don't know. It's just suspicious is all we're saying. We're not saying anybody's guilty of anything. We're saying it looks bad. Yep. All right, guys, that's our hour. Thanks, everybody, for coming. We're gonna, uh, I'm going to do a podcast every Tuesday and Thursday for now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over current stuff. I went over the bridge, the, the bridge thing. That's still ongoing. We'll see how that that's plays out. Helpful. We'll have we'll have an update on uh, Thursday's program. And whenever the, the guy who um, killed the 11-year-old trying to protect his pregnant mom. Oh, yeah, that was awful. But thanks everybody for coming. Appreciate all of you. Yeah. All the rewatch gang. We'll see y'all Thursday.